George Baker from uh, Emergency Services Outreach uh, for OnStar, this uh, beautiful technology from General Motors that uh, has been improved uh, to now. You can really, really stop the thieves from uh, getting into your car, right, George? That's right, Javier. This week, five years ago, we launched Stolen Vehicle Slowdown, which is an innovative service that allows us to remotely disable the accelerator of a stolen vehicle equipped with OnStar. It's fascinating technology. So um, I was uh, actually this week in New York for the reveal of the 2015 uh, Escalade, and I remember the Escalade being like so po such a popular vehicle was also very popular with Vips, and it was actually on the top of the list of the most stolen cars for a long time. Uh, so this technology would allow the, the people to keep their, their Escalades uh, in the future, right? Well, not necessarily. Unfortunately, what you're dealing with are different types of thieves with different types of targets. Um, what you're finding with Escalades is oftentimes they are pushed away or towed away uh, around the corner so they can be stripped down and then those components sold. So the fact that that Escalade has a, a very sophisticated vehicle theft deterrent system, uh, which means that uh, it's, it, it cannot be hotwired by thieves, doesn't necessarily help with that uh, certain scenario. Uh, but there are ways for Escalade owners uh, to reduce the likelihood that, uh, and other vehicle owners for that matter, that their vehicle is stolen by fo following common sense guidelines and the like. Yeah, but in general, the OnStar system, as you were saying, it's, it's been advancing uh, in the past a few years uh, with this new new uh, technology you just mentioned about the slowing down uh, in, in, in case of a, of a uh, stolen situation. So in general, the whole system is always advancing, right? Oh, well, absolutely. We've, had, we've located some 59,000 OnStar-equipped stolen vehicles over the years, and then we added in stolen vehicle slowdown five years ago. Directly after that, we have a remote ignition block where we can send a signal to a stolen OnStar equipped vehicle to block its ignition, even if the keys to that vehicle were stolen. So we continue to progress towards uh, in enhanced safety of that vehicle from an auto theft perspective. Yeah. So um, let's go back and, uh, and try to explain a little bit more about how this technology uh, works, the stolen vehicle slowdown system. Uh, so let's say the car is already in movement, I guess, right, because somebody has stolen. How does the system work? Well, first thing is we need to be uh, notified that the vehicle has been stolen. Normally the subscriber will call us, perhaps law enforcement will call us. Then we confirm with law enforcement that they're officially treating the vehicle as stolen. Uh, once that occurs, we then send a signal on the cellular network directly to the vehicle to tap into its GPS system and identify its precise location. We give that location to law enforcement who have jurisdiction based on that location. And then they send an officer uh, to the site once they're on site and can observe the vehicle and conditions are appropriate, they ask us to slow down the vehicle. We send the signal to disable the accelerator, and about 10 seconds later, uh, the signal is received. The vehicle starts slowing down. Braking and steering remain intact. The vehicle can be pulled over to the side of the road. Law enforcement can apprehend the thief. But most important, Javier, is the fact that if there was a high-speed pursuit going on, we use technology to bring it to a safe conclusion or to avoid it outright. And for us, that's a really big deal. Yeah, because uh, according to the data uh, from NHTSA, the, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, more than 300 people die every year in those uh, kind of high-speed chases. Huh? I mean, that's like, so this really helps avoiding that and recuperating the vehicle. So it is like a win-win situation in that, those two issues. That's right, Javier. And if you uh, consider the fact that over the years, over these five years, we've slowed down 250 vehicles, then in theory, each and every time we did, did so, uh, we were preventing uh, potential high-speed pursuit. And we, back in the day, decided that, hey, it, even if we only save one life, it's worth the effort, it's worth the expense to, to launch this service, and we're so glad that we did. Yeah, and speaking about expense, this is part of the OnStar service, right? So, and that, uh, that comes standard with uh, every GM vehicle for the first few months, if I'm not mistaken, and then uh, it's a subscription, right? It depends on the model, it tends to be six 
months or 12 months of, uh, of directions and connections, which is our high-end service, including navigation. But you're right. The advantage of OnStar, and in particular, stolen vehicle slowdown and, and these services I've been describing, is that OnStar is available and comes included with the vehicle, even on the, the, the lower-end uh, Chevy Cruises and Sonics that we have, all the way up to our Escalade. So, so this high-tech technology is available to college kids and to others who are driving our introductory vehicles, as well as our Buicks and our Cadillacs. It's a good thing. Yeah. And uh, do you know how, how much is the, is the separate? It depends on the level of, uh, of amenities that people get within their subscription. That's correct. And, and that's since it's on the order of about 60 cents a day or so. I know it's less expensive to purchase on an annual basis for approximately $199 a year um, for the basic package, which includes everything I've been describing except for navigation. And then it goes up by about $100 more to get to NAV. Yeah, and, and let's say that someone is uh, is uh, looking into a car, goes to a dealership this weekend, or, and, and looking, they can actually try this system while they doing the general test drive of a vehicle. Oh, without a doubt, We're, our our uh, dealers now are empowered and trained to teach uh, p potential buyers of GM products how to use the infotainment system, how to use the OnStar uh, to get demonstrations. Uh, we're not going to slow down the vehicles as a demo, although I do that all the time for law enforcement to teach them how it works. But we are certainly going to, to educate the potential buyers about uh, all that OnStar brings to the table. Yeah, because uh, with all this technology in new vehicles, it, there's a, a, obviously a learning curve that consumers have to be aware of before they want buy the vehicle and then they decide to install this kind of system, right? I mean, so people shouldn't be afraid of... Uh, that technology, but be uh, conscious that they're going to have to, like, go to a little school, let's say, to, well, like, to well, learn. The, the bottom line there is that iStore system is, uh, uh, consists of three simple buttons. The whole objective is for you to press a button and then be able to speak with an advisor. If it's blue, you, you speak to the advisor about navigation. If it's red, it's an emergency. And if you press the phone button on the left, it's to make a quick call. But as soon as you press that button, then you're back to your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. It's a very simple system. GM's infotainment systems are also evolving in a very positive way, such that they're easily, they're far more readily understandable. Um, and as such, we've got folks that are not too savvy in technology who are very satisfied with uh, the next-gen systems that are coming out now. Yeah, and like even as you were saying, like if you're not that tech savvy, I mean, pressing the button, I think everybody can do. If you're driving, you should be able to do that, right? Absolutely. And, again, the whole objective is, is get back to the task at hand, which is driving. Yeah. So, uh, great. George Baker, Emergency Services Outreach for uh, OnStar from General Motors. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for your time and the information. And uh, where can people find uh, about more e if they, before going to a dealership? Is there a web page or somewhere they can, uh, they can look up? Yeah, without a doubt, what you want to do is go to OnStar.com to find out about our automatic crash response, about our convenience services, navigation, about stolen vehicle slowdown. All that is, is there and a lot of good information at OnStar.com. To find about, uh, out about auto theft um, trends, etc., in that area, for those folks who don't have an OnStar vehicle, uh, best place to go is uh, NYPD uh, is a highly respected organization across the nation, across the world, as is the New York State Police, and uh, they're both great sources of information about trends on the East Coast, trends in, in New York, and how do you keep your vehicle from being stolen. So uh, a lot of information out there, Javier. Well, thank, thank you very much again, George, and uh, we'll be talking and we'll be uh, experiencing this technology in the GM vehicles uh, in the next uh, few weeks and months. Bueno, y esto fue Auto 060 esta semana. Eh, los esperamos en la próxima edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.